What's up, everybody? We're going to the first ever Ballerinas of Los Angeles real life event. It's going to be a ballet class followed by like tea and coffee. We're excited. Yeah, we're excited. Come with us. Let's see if I was in the frame. Today we are here at the ballet and coffee event and I welcome you. The ballet and coffee event is a networking event for ballet dancers in Los Angeles. Come in and network and meet people, meet choreographers, directors, other dancers, etc. I take classes a lot at Westside and I have a lot of very talented friends and I kind of just looked at them and why don't they have jobs? I wanted to build awareness for our community and then it kind of just morphed. <laughs> I'm very impressed with what Michelle is doing and putting this together and trying to help all the dancers in the community. It's fantastic. Great turnout for today. Nobody prompted her and it's helping the dancers and bringing them together and make people be more aware of the beauty of ballet. She has many more events coming up. event for dancers. It's going to be like group therapy where okay. dancers come in and all like maximum eight people together and okay. have sessions. And... That's amazing. Yeah. Oh my god. Is yeah. that going to be under Ballerina of Los Angeles? Yeah, it's going to be under that. Cool. Yeah. Wow, you're crushing it, man. Yeah, thank I you. I love it. Feet together. We're doing the chair challenge. Feet together. Feet together, coming forward. <laughs> My head is against the wall. Pick up the chair. No wow. problem. Bravo. All right, let's see you do it. I kind of have a feeling you will though, because you are a dancer, so. Yes, two steps right. back. So she's Three, watching. Don't disappoint one, him. Two, feet together, head against the wall, chair, and then. <laughs> Maybe it's just one now. No, they did two. I think I'm getting it. Hold on. Yeah, but your feet are still like pretty One, far away. Two. Head. <laughs> Hold on. I like that you're trying to make it harder. I'm like, maybe your head can't leave the wall, but even then you can do it. I'm like, I'm so confused. <laughs> Who can't do this? That's ballet. <laughs> I just got back from Arizona where I was speaking and attending the first ever Pata de Photo Conference. The Pata de Photo Conference, if you're wondering what that is, the first ever dance photography conference. The event was put on by a couple named Ron and Beth McKinney. Both of them are extremely driven because like I said, this was the first time they're putting on this conference and all things considered, it went extremely smoothly. I was very impressed because I think they had over, I have no idea what the numbers were, but I would personally guess over 200 photographers attending and it looks like there was over at least 65 70 dancers the whole thing was awesome it was at a conference center slash hotel in Phoenix Arizona when I first arrived it was insane I was just like walking through the hotel slash conference center area and everywhere I looked there was another dance photo shoot happening that was a really cool interesting thing to see because I remember back when I first started on Instagram and it was like just me posting on IG see in person at least through there was like five or six shoots happening all at once, just all over the ground. That was really awesome. It was really fun. Not only did I get to meet dance photographers from around the planet, which was super cool, and people who had been following my account for years that I finally got to meet in person, but also just got to hang out with fellow dance photographers like Shark Cookie David Hoffman and Jordan Matter and Rachel Neville. I got to teach four classes and give one photo walk while I was there. For those of you wondering, a photo walk is basically like there's 20 or 30 photographers also in attendance and I'm kind of giving instructions as to how I would think about going about the photo shoot, and then they all get to take photos with those thoughts in mind. I got to give four classes. Two of the classes were for dancers, two of the classes were for photographers. Those were also super cool. Um, I think my favorite was a class I gave on social media marketing and branding for photographers because um, it had a really good turnout and also the crowd was extremely engaged. And like I said, Ron and Beth McKinney are extremely driven and this was the first year it happened, I have no doubt next year is gonna be even more epic. So if you're a dance photographer or you're a dancer who wants to attend one of these things, definitely keep an eye out on their account. I'll link it to it in the bio because I think 2021 is gonna be even more crazy. It's day three of the Pata de Conference. 
<laughs> oh my god, this camera cannot get. It's like so low. <laughs> and it's like the whole it. frame. It's day three of the Pata de Photo Conference. Uh, I taught two classes yesterday and then led a photo walk. Um, and that was yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> that was day two's recap. It's pretty solid, very detailed and informative. <laughs> Oh man, okay. Yeah, I'll try and elaborate. So the first lecture was on social media marketing for dancers. I'm doing that same lecture again this morning. Second lecture was on uh, how to pose. <laughs> so these two cats, they're going crazy for the catnip toys. This one though, not so much.